Hello, and welcome to another Impartial Theorist. I'm Han Solo. I'm Spock. And uh, we're living in dark times. I'm not there. I don't, I, it's not my, it's not my circus, not my monkeys. You know, I'd like to say not my problem, but I can't say that because Should we be worried? Uh, don't say that. Because oh. we are worried, but I need you to say no, it's going to be okay. Okay, no, it's going to not be okay. It's not. She's a dick for that, though. She <laughs> do need to fuck up his, his, his stay in the celebrity big brother house. Now all he's gonna be thinking about is like, well, fuck. Why am I on this dumb little fucking show? Yeah. Um. So that is Amorosa Manigo Newman. Uh, know her full name? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my I got God. this shit down. So um. <laughs> oh, you know, she's been a reoccurring topic here. Um. She last time we talked about her it was her exit from the White House. Um. She's been, you know, with Trump. Uh. She got her start in uh, Apprentice, yeah. and then you know he fired her three times. <laughs> and then, uh, as she says in this video, was uh, called to duty, called to serve her country, and uh, her Trump appointment. But uh, that didn't work out, so now she's back to the reality yeah. TV circuit and talking about <laughs> her time yeah. in the White House. Apparently, she was haunted by his tweets. So every day she knew he was going to say some dumb shit. She just, like, you can't make this shit up. You literally can't make this shit up. Yo, and also I wanted to show you a video from Vox. Actually, let's throw this in real quick. On the morning of October 10th, 2017, Gertz noticed something weird happening. Trump tweeted this at 8 o'clock in the morning, praising a book by a little-known conservative author seemingly out of nowhere. So I thought that was weird. One of my colleagues pointed out to me that the author had actually been on Fox and Friends earlier that morning. His colleague was right. Trump seemed to be responding to a Fox and Friends segment about the book that had aired that morning. So I looked at all of the tweets from that morning. I had pretty good matches. Fox and Friends talked about the NFL protests. Three minutes later, Trump tweeted about the NFL protests. Fox and Friends criticized Democrats over immigration. Trump tweeted about Democrats and immigration. And I said, well, damn. He's watching the show and tweeting about what he's seeing. If you look at like, the whatever you think it is, it's kind of worse. Like, you know, you know that, that he just retweets the shit that they say, and but, Fox like, it's, going, it's become too. worse than they that. casually joke about the president watching them live. But I asked the president to blink the lights on and off if he was watching. And because they know he's watching, <laughs> Fox and Friends has evolved from a show that talks about Trump to a like show he did that talks shit. to Trump, actively trying to influence his behavior. A Vox study of 17 months of Fox and Friends transcripts found that after the election, like low key, whoever owns Fox can run the Trump fucking country by more than 50 just because of that one show. The president should do people that you want, yeah. Do I don't know. Show. I mean, I feel like the United States is watching everyone. Unfortunately, we don't have much of a choice. The Fox, Fox News is just like the embodiment like of kind of this, like the, the sector of the Republican line. Party. So, I mean, yeah, but like. While Even the Republican Party, episode, like every everybody knows, Fox and Friends was just a. It's like the View. It literally is like the View. Would you yeah. want the woman on the View like telling the president what the fuck to do? Fox and Friends is worse. Yeah, I mean, I guess at least it's not info wars. Yeah, like. but it's it's an easy way for anybody to influence the country. It's literally the easiest way in. By well, Fox. and it's already happening. I'm sure. Like, yeah, who, who have, there's like, a lot of people interested in like the programming on Fox and Friends now, and probably a lot of people meeting with yeah, Ducey and Kilmead and what's the woman's name? Now? What is it? Anyway, yeah, that's, I don't know. I mean, just... that's I I like Saturday Night Live makes jokes yeah, about it. Yeah, like but... late night makes jokes about it all the time. It's like everybody knows I, it's happening, I, and like they they know, but like. Does anybody do people understand how serious this shit is? Like it isn't a fucking joke. It's it's literally just it's a dumb it's a dumb storyline in a dumb movie. Like, yeah, and it's a, like a vicious feedback loop. Like and the and like the percentage, the number of times he actually like takes the information, like teachers aren't this successful. You can't teach like he's it's, it's like the student repeating the shit that teachers say. Like mm -hmm. most people remember half the shit, but he fucking. 
Like, regurgitates the shit like the teacher's pet. Like, it's kind of... Like, it works too well. Like, it's kind of fucked up how, how well it works. It's just... It's stupid. That's that's all. It's just dumb. And that shit scares the fuck out of me. Because, like, the North Korea shit... What if they say, like, North Korea is flexing too much? Today is the day that you need to fuck them up, Donald Trump. And he would just fucking do it. And then listen to other people later. Yeah, I mean, you know, let's just hope that there's some general or some advisor <laughs> that will save the yeah, save the world at the last he, minute. He listens to his, his advisors after he does the shit, like the with the bill that he started opposing because Fox and Friends said opposed that the FISA bill. Mm-hmm. Like he he only changed his mind after. He'd, he'd already, like, sparked a weekend of bullshit. People were scrambling to, like, convince him no before he changed his mind again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, you don't have that much time with a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> I well, mean, that's reality. That, like, we somehow got here. Uh, yeah, and also... Another state of where we're at, uh, Trump just casually calls Democrats treasonous <laughs> for yeah. not clapping during his State of the Union. Um, yeah. I just think it's funny how easily he throws around treasonous. And when, when you say how easily, like literally how fucking easily, because he, he, he's like, yeah, after, he's just like, yeah, treasonous? Yeah, treasonous. Yeah, I guess why not? <laughs> you know. Can we call that treason? Why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I guess why not? He literally says why not. He literally says why not. Like, yeah, and it's like... It's so stupid. Okay, so are you joking? But... But you, but the thing is, he starts to believe the shit he says on stage. Like, that's... It's part of his personality. Like, he's so deep into the character that he's become... Like, he literally is... Like, whatever he says, he starts to believe. If he says he has $10 billion, which he probably told himself one day and just started spouting that shit. Like, he believes it. He acts like he like he lives his life. Like, he... Well, yeah, that's, like, what it apparently says in The Art of the Deal. Uh, like, you just lie and just keep lying till people believe you. Like Yeah. Even to himself. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's the worst part. He's so dumb, he believes his own lies. Well, yeah, um, things are getting turned pretty dictator pretty quick here. Uh, treasonous for not clapping for Shit. the <laughs> grand dictator Trump. And he's also planning his military parade. So yeah. I want to find him. Pull up. Apparently going to have tanks and missile launchers just cruising down Pennsylvania Avenue. Uh, like Boast our military strength. Trump was so impressed by what he saw. In France for Bastille Day. Why? Why can't we have that? Why can't he? Like, no, nobody wants this shit. Yeah, but at the end of the day, Trump's... (laughs) Shit, but New York, Chicago, and Philadelphia rejected the idea. Like, they said they can't do it in their place. But... Um, Jim Mattis left left the possibility of use of doing it right outside Washington, so they don't have to go that far. Mm. Yeah, and the Republican, the mayor of Fort Worth, Texas, which is already a military base, so they don't have to move anything that far. So, just I get it. I get why they will say yes, appease him, just give him this thing that we don't have to work that hard to do anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but still. Are you fucking shitting me? Yeah, it's just weird. I wonder, like... I mean, I'm sure it's happened in American history. Like, I wonder, like, around World War. Yeah, but that's, know. that's during the war. That's a, that's, you need, that's a show of strength during the war. Because you need to keep... It's basically p- propaganda. Because you need to keep the people's spirits up and make them think there's a possibility of winning. It's not like they have social media that they can just check if they're losing the war. Like, instantly. yeah, like they only know what the government told them. So that made sense, but right now, like, no. It's stupid. Why do you want a parade? Yeah. Well, maybe Trump will just really go out and, like, be golden tanks. and. Yeah. 
Everything's just coated in gold. I don't uh -oh. think people are going to pay for that. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, no, even that's so is actually kind of funny talking about Fox News and Fox and Friends. Like, I saw a clip of even Brian Kilmeade called it a waste of money. So. Yeah. There are a lot of people at the Thanks. Pentagon who would love to show off all yeah. the equipment. Right. And uh, the personnel. And I don't know. It seems like a waste of money. 12 minutes. Down. It literally is just a big ass waste of money. We move on to Rex Tillerson. Yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> There's been a couple comments from uh, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and then uh, uh, Mike Pompeo, CIA director, both made comments uh, regarding r regarding Russian meddling, um, uh, saying that there's already... Um, They're already meddling in the 2018 midterm elections. Yeah. Like, they can't... He locally can't do shit to stop it because meddling isn't just, like, voter... Voter for... Which voter, like... Hacking into the voter registration shit because they didn't really do that last last election. It's been proven. What what they did was was infiltrate like social media and shit and basically just spam, just use bots and just attack the fucking internet. Which and they did it pretty well. Like Facebook, Facebook is having to do all this work to prevent it now. And Twitter is is bad on Twitter. It's really bad on Twitter. Yeah. Well, so Pompeo said though that he thinks it'll still be a free and fair election, and that uh, we will push back in a way that is sufficiently robust. Yeah, but uh, Trump Trump doesn't want to issue sanctions because he says the threat of sanctions is better than sanctions, which is just fucking stupid. Yeah, well, apparently the State Department also said that there's already sanctions in place so that further sanctions wouldn't do more. But also, so Rex Tillerson, uh, he had a little bit different comments from Mike Pompeo. Uh, he said that, I don't know, or I don't know that I would say we are better prepared because Russians will adapt as well. Mm -hmm. uh, if there's a point, or if they're, the point is, if their intention is to interfere, they're going to find a ways to way to do that yeah we can take steps but this is something that once they decide they're going to do it is going to be very difficult to preempt and then he also said uh look if you think we don't or what needs to be said to russia is look if you don't think we see what you're doing we do see it and you need to stop if you don't you're just going to continue to invite consequences for yourself so and then what <laughs> the way the, they meddled the way they did so effectively in the presidential election is, yeah, as you were saying, Twitter. Um, apparently there's this deep state forces analyst uh, website that tracks Russian influenced Twitter accounts. It's called Hamilton 68. And so last weekend, I guess, for the Nunes memo, there was like a huge spike in the hashtag uh, release, hashtag release the memo. And then there were a bunch of other ones, including hashtag FISAGATE, <laughs> hashtag Obama Deep State. Well, FISAGATE is literally <laughs> just Fox and Friends telling him. So, like, that's not a gate. Yeah. Well, it, it gets a little bit more ridiculous, too. Uh, hashtag We the People Demand Justice. Hashtag uh, mm -hmm. Obama The Deep Memo State. Reveals the Coup. And even hashtag obama's legacy is what obama is gate. obama gate <laughs> why why do you think just putting gate behind a word just because it sounds ominous or some shit yeah but i guess none of those other hashtags really caught on but yeah, yeah. apparently it's uh, just stupid it's just flat out stupid yeah the guy from the security firm says the activity around this hashtag was different and that it was much more concentrated, amplified, and extended. I think it is a good case study in what it looks like when somebody really turns on the machine and how vulnerable, frankly, Twitter still is to having its platform co-opted by someone who wants to push a particular narrative. So yeah, the bots, they, they got a lot of processing power for those yeah. bots. <laughs> the, the whole deep state shit is growing, man. Apparently, like they've, the deep state, deep state went up from five percent of of the content from five percent of content to fifteen percent, meaning that shit tripled, like between January nineteenth and January thirtieth, because of the Nunes memo. Because all the fucking like bots tweeting deep state, people were actually picking up on that shit, like engaging with that stupid ass fucking like hashtag, like the yeah. whole idea of a deep state. Like I get it, but like. 
chill is like it's literally just a conspiracy like before trump that that kind of shit wouldn't have been on been in the mainstream media fuck news is peddling that shit like like they're selling coke like it's bad so people are buying into that shit yeah well and i guess like i heard that the russian twitter bots like post a lot of like non-political stuff to just like get people like yeah. I don't know, whatever trends, yeah, they basically just, like, jump on a bunch of other trends and, like, tweet a bunch of other stuff not related, and then just, like, start throwing in, like, yeah, deep state, like, yeah, basically anything to get people to, yeah, it doesn't even matter, yeah, basically just confuse people and, like, twist the narrative and twist the the investigation around. What what I've realized is it's not like Russia knows what Trump is gonna do. When he, whenever he does something, they just tweet it in in favor of him because it's gonna cause more confusion, and it's gonna piss people off. It's gonna make that shit catch. And Trump in charge of the U.S. is literally it's perfect for them because he's fucking everything up. He's make, he's literally weakening the country, like every day. He's making America less, and Russia doesn't need to grow that much. They just need to stay the same, and eventually America is gonna become weaker. Yeah. Well, I feel like it's just, like, playing out perfectly yeah. for them, like, honestly. Like, they don't need to do that and much just shit. through, and, like, yeah, it basically just exploiting, like, free speech and capitalism, yeah. like, by using social media, so. They can fuck over a whole country. Like, imagine if you, you really wanted to, if, like, Russia and America have always been, like, rivals, like, ever since, like, before the Cold War and shit. But, like, this is a plan too good. Like, you don't even need that much money. You don't need that much... You don't even need to actually, like, alter their voting records or, or like, affect their voting. All you need to do is somehow get a clown elected. Even if you don't, it's going to fuck up the country. But, like, you get... If you get him elected, a reality show fucking dude that runs this country. That shit is wild. Every day, that shit shit blows my mind. It's... We move on to Trump's wig. Yeah. Well, yeah, now for some just totally... uh, Okay, for another Trump breakthrough, we've got some really revealing information. One of the biggest mysteries that surrounded his presidency has been his hair. Yeah. Even before his presidency. Yeah. Just a a mystery mystery surrounding his life, basically, like... The fact that it's not getting that much coverage now, like it gets coverage, but like if you if during the presidential election, if we had seen this shit, he might have lost. Yeah, he might have lost. This uh, supports the theory. When I first saw this, it's like it looked to me like just his whole head was bald, and there was like these like taped on or like glued on sections. But no. yeah, it, there's he has a hair though. It's just wispy as fuck. Yeah, if you look at there's another picture that goes with it, and like you can baby see baby hair. It's, just patches of hair yeah so i think it is i mean this probably would have been the guess from the start but like grows out you've got the little like horseshoe thing going on grow it out and then i think it goes like comes up around like this and then back down right that makes sense because it's like yeah but it must be kind of like a lot of hairspray. Well, he talks about how he always uses a lot of hairspray, so... Yeah. It must just be, like... And, yeah, the... Walking around the airport, he walks from the helicopter, the jet... And the glue that comes from stuck. That yeah, all the hairspray in the world, glue. I don't think... Yeah, well, maybe. I mean, he does do this a lot, so... His hairdresser, someone's getting fired this week. <laughs> I feel like he does it himself. Because he <laughs> wouldn't think? want it to leak. Yeah. That's true, because it probably would have leaked already. A long time ago. Yeah. This is, like, <laughs> his best kept fucking secret, and Trump can't keep secrets. So, yeah. Well, you want to move on to the next shit? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll keep updated. I mean, this has been, like, one of the things I've been trying to crack and, like, mm-hmm. understand just because, yeah, I don't know. I mean, to me, that's, like, the, the like most fundamental mystery. It's, like, how could this dude keep this under wraps? And why not just be bald, you know? Or like, nah, because it would look weird too. Have you seen? Have you seen? Oh, um, I mean, he would look weird, but dude, I don't know. You can only own a <coughs> comb over. Like, Fuck. how can you own a comb over? You can I don't know. He's doing it somehow, but it's falling apart. Yeah, 
But like if he if he didn't do that, he would look like this. And we don't <laughs> we don't need him looking like this. <laughs> like that's his grandson. It's like this. Yeah, why is actually, this so funny for me? Like this. <laughs> That's that's how his hair is. That's how Trump's actual hair yeah, is. Yeah, that actually might look that, better. That might be an improvement, honestly. No, nah, the, the baby is. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why people are, like. I get why people are clowning the baby because it looks funny as fuck. Like it looks like Eric Trump's baby. Yep, yep. I knew that was Eric's baby. That looks like Eric's baby. That looks like Eric's fucking baby. <laughs> well, moving on to some other cool shit. Elon Musk is. A crazy, like, billionaire fucking villain, man. But he does He's also cool the shit. coolest nerd, or the, the most nerd yeah. that he's, you've ever he's, seen. Cause... He's, um, fuck. Stark. Tony Stark. He's Tony Stark in real life. What kind of cooler? Because he, he doesn't just drive an Audi. He makes his own fucking shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he just built the car company he wanted to build the car yeah. he wanted. So. And they lose so much money, but, like... Nobody else is doing this shit. So, and plus he can just fund fund the shit from his other ventures. I wish I had his life, but shit. He, last week he made flamethrowers. And he sold that shit. He made $10 million in like two days. From yeah, what was that about? Just he, something he yeah, He wanted just wanted to, to sell some flamethrowers. So hmm. he sold some fucking flamethrowers. And like... What would people use a flamethrower for? You don't fucking know. Just to own a flamethrower. <laughs> Let me show you this video of Elon Musk with the flamethrower. Have you seen it? Mm-hmm. Him running towards... I'll just pull it up. Like, wow. We didn't have enough guns in them. This already now. Let's get, uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're just chasing somebody? What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, why not? This is kind of cool. It does come with... Start a fire real quick. It does come with a built-in fire extinguisher for 50 extra dollars. That thing on Mm. the top. But, it's cool. Yeah, start a fire, extinguish a fire. Yeah. All in one. (laughs) And now he just sent his fucking car up to space. Just send his fucking Tesla Roadster. This, that was the, the 2010 one, I think. And he put a man... We'll, we'll put pictures up. But he put a, a mannequin in a, suit, in a suit and put that shit in the car and just sent it up. It's eventually going to orbit Mars or land on Mars or some shit. Like, why? Because he had to put something in there anyway because it's a test. So he's like, fuck it, why not put my car? Instead of putting cinder block. Like, just make this shit cool. And he well, just, then it's going to orbit Mars for yeah. something like... A billion, a years, billion years. years or something like that. And so, yeah, the marsh. I don't know. Something will happen before that. Like, maybe somebody you go when we eventually will colonize, colonize Mars. Mars yeah, and, then and like, they'll go bring that shit down and sell it at an auction. <laughs> that shit will be worth so much money. Because, like, Elon Musk, the crazy dude from 1,050 years ago, like, we got his car, the first one of the first electric sports cars, and we sell that shit for a billion dollars. Or probably Kazillion because inflation. So, yeah. What, what are we talking about? <laughs> or the car will just be like, become sentient itself and like become a transformer. And Maybe. Come back to Earth. P- people are saying that he killed somebody and put him in a suit and sent him up as a way to get rid of the body. Because, like, like, genius. Fucking, yeah. yeah. Probably did. Yeah. I, it, it really is fucking genius. And it's just fucking cool. It's just fucking cool. Yeah, I mean, he's just a billionaire, like, he's having fun. Child, kind of like teenage boy. Yeah, and <laughs> a 40, 50, 50 year old man's buddy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it is cool that somebody's doing it, and. Yeah, because we kind of need that kind. Like, that's the world I thought would exist when I was a child. Like, I thought yeah. more people would be doing that kind of shit. So, it's, it's just fucking cool. Like, yeah. Yeah, we've got a few. Um. <laughs> yeah. But most of them are conservative. Like, not... They don't go all... Like, they just not... They don't do shit just for shits and giggles. Like, at least publicly. They're not showmen like this. Yeah. 
Like, Mark Zuckerberg is, like, the complete fucking, like, opposite of Elon Musk. Yeah. Yeah, Elon Musk is flashy. Mark Zuckerberg has Yeah, I guess there isn't really another, like, Elon yeah, Musk. Yeah, there isn't. Well, and also, did you see the video of the, of the shit landing? Yeah, yeah I still just... It's hard for me to just believe that. It's like, what the hell? How? Yeah. How is that? I don't know. Like, he's he's more influential than NASA. Like, he has more capability than NASA. Yeah, I don't, yeah it just seems crazy. Like, I don't know. I never even, like, heard about people doing that. Like, a rocket just landing back mm-hmm. down. But, sweet. I mean, I guess it does take, like, a bunch more fuel to, like... Yeah, but it's cheaper because you don't have to keep building the shit. Over yeah, and exactly. Over again. I mean, yeah, it's got to be, I guess, if they're doing it. And yeah. I, I guess eventually over time it probably gets even more efficient. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. Though. It's yeah, just kind of unbelievable to watch it. But yeah, it's kind of like living in the future. Yeah. We're getting there. Well, let's talk about like the wildest thing. <laughs> Okay, the wildest thing that happened last week was Quincy Jones just yeah. spilling the tea on everything. Like, yeah. he gave no fucks, like... And, uh, like, I don't know, some people, at least I saw, like, kind of, like, speculating, like, what is going on with Quincy Jones? Is he, like, <laughs> on his deathbed or something? Because he's just dropping everything. And, like, stuff... We, the first time most people read the interview... They were, like, uh, alter, right. Yeah, it's just like, oh, wow, Quincy Jones has lost it, like... But everything, almost everything he says is probably true. Because, like, every day, something is proven. Because, also, apparently, the, the wildest thing that he said was that Richard Pryor used to fuck Marlon Brando. Apparently, Richard Pryor was openly bi, and his wife kind of just said, yeah, it's true. Yeah, Actually, his response was even more interesting. It was like, oh, it was in the 70s. Like, the drugs were good. Like, you could take a Quaalude or something. <laughs> yeah, and and like, fuck everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and fuck a radiator or yeah. something. It was like... <laughs> Damn. Damn. They were fucking mailboxes, radiators, like, who knows what other types of household items, appliances. Um, When I was reading through it, one that jumped out to me was uh, Quincy Jones just casually mentions that... uh, He says the Beatles are shit, are shit musicians, but the Microsoft CEO apparently can shred a fucking guitar. Yeah, yeah, he just throws out that, like... Uh, well, yeah, he also talks trash on Jimi Hendrix. He says, yeah. like, Jimi Hendrix, like, chickened out to come and, like, play with him and Herbie Hancock and some other people. And then uh, he's like, oh, but you know who is actually, who does shred is Paul Allen. <laughs> and then and it's like, have a video like, wait, the Microsoft like... guy? And he's like, yeah. And then he just, like, changes the subject, which he is basically with this whole... That's, that's his thing. <laughs> like, he would drop some shit and then just completely switch the whole... F- like, you ask, you do, like, cheese... After he tells you that Michael Jackson used to suck his dad's dick. <laughs> just wild shit. But then, like, I'm like, what? Paul Allen. So I, like, searched that right away. And came across this video. And, yeah, here's Paul Allen just, like, shredding with some musicians on the stage. That's just... The musicians stop playing. It becomes yeah. just him. They're just like, what? <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's probably enough. But, yeah. So, yeah, and then it's just like, all this stuff that was out, I mean, not everything has been confirmed, but so much of it has. <laughs> it's like, it definitely makes him seem not crazy. He's not yeah. just spewing yeah. his total bullshit. Most, most of like, the shit he's saying is probably true. Yeah, yeah. And if it's not, it's probably just like off by a little bit. Like, yeah. nah, but if, like the T Pain shit too was proven true because he said T Pain basically tried to cover PYT and he was completely shit at it. And T Pain oh, himself shit, admitted, yeah, shit. means he knew he's known all these like, like he's known all these amazing fucking people from like back then. Yeah, yeah, it seems pretty crazy. I mean, he's pretty, yeah, he's turning 85, so. He's seen a lot of stuff yeah. and known a lot of people. Yeah, it seems like he just had a, like, he's probably the most interesting man, you know, like, seems like he just knew everybody. He was very he, connected. Apparently, he knew Malcolm X and Malcolm X, um, when he played music, he, like, they would buy dope from him. 
Yeah, he said this way. This is the quote. Good Malcolm X would probably yeah. do it. No, he he said every time we go to Detroit at the Majestic Hotel, standing in front with his Italian shit and his Italian shit on and amber glasses. Malcolm X. Detroit Red. That's where we bought our dope. It was before he went to prison. Mm. It's it's fucking dope. Like the video. yeah, man, that's crazy. I'm so glad he actually is like saying because he know he probably knows so much shit. He probably yeah. like shit. Oh yeah, and he claims to know who killed JFK, which yeah. is pretty crazy. He said Prince tried to run Michael Jackson off over with a limousine. Like we need to. <laughs> Like there's so much shit he said. Like I, we he just, just gonna like hit, sit down with some historians. Yeah, just <laughs> tell him all this shit because I believe all this shit is true because that's the trend. Like nothing has come up as fake yet. He's <laughs> yeah, including he claims to have dated Ivanka Trump, <laughs> which I think he's like forty something years old. Or yeah, but but she hasn't come out and like denied yeah. it yet. Hey, like. And it's been I believe out it. There, I, be- so. I straight up believe it. And apparently he said Michael Jackson used to just steal music. Since yeah. he said State of Independence, I don't even know. Oh, that's a Donna Summer song. And Billie Jean are the same fucking shit. And he said he would just steal the shit and just make it better. Oh, shit. And Michael Jackson wouldn't pay royalties. Shit. Oh yeah, he says Michael Jackson was like really greedy. Yeah. Man, it's just crazy. Yeah, he has like all these opinions of people and like knows all these stories. But actually, a lot of times he's like, "Oh, but he was a great person." Yeah. And I'm like, let's move on. <laughs> yeah, but that, that makes sense. You, you can be a shitty person and a good person at the same time. You can be a shitty person with a kind heart. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And he said the Beatles were shit. They were good songwriters, but like as musicians, they were all shit. Which, I like, mean, I think a lot of even Beatles fans kind of accept that. I mean, a lot of people know, yeah, that they use like studio musicians and stuff, or session musicians and stuff. So, and that like they weren't always playing on the songs, but I mean, they did still like write the songs. And, yeah, yeah, the songs. I like the the lyrics and shit, but the, it's just wild. Yeah. I, I would love to just sit down and listen to all the crazy shit that that dude would say. Yeah, hopefully there's just like he just like does a full on like HBO like special interview or something that'd be awesome. Yeah, like Vice. I guess that's on HBO. And he doesn't think we'll push a run. That's just true. Yeah. Well, he says yeah, basically just people should have experience in government yeah know. which is fucking common sense that's not anything you said that like many fucking times mm-hmm. yeah well this was an interesting ass week yeah yeah <laughs> and i kind of had fun making this shit so yeah there wasn't too much trump shit there was but yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was but yeah next week we'll be back we're gonna have guests on hopefully the next two weeks so uh yeah we'll be seeing you with that Yeah, peace.